I love seeing the little horsies behind you. Yesterday it was a bird. It was a plane. It's 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 Kevin Frankish. Oh, you know what? Uh, the Canadian Warplane Heritage uh, Museum people in Hamilton are going to be participating in this this uh, week's air show in Brantford, which is uh, tomorrow. We'll talk more about that in a moment. So yesterday. Uh, we buzzed Brantford. <laughs> uh, it was just, it's always a chance before an air show. In fact, we're going to see it here in Toronto. Uh, you're going to see some of the vintage aircraft and some of the, the aircraft, snowbirds, things like that, fly over a couple of days before. So that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. For the CNE, CNE one, it's all, it's all weekend. Um, so I had a chance to get in. It, it actually is one of the oldest bombers. It was, it was uh, designed and created in the late 30s into the 40s. It was the first bomber that ever went off an aircraft carrier. Uh, a lot of Canadians served uh, on the B-25 bomber, and so I had a chance to um, hitch a ride yesterday over Brampton. Okay, are we ready to go? Yes, sir, we're ready. Right. We're ready, Mr. Frankish, come right. aboard. Where's the door? The door, oh, it's underneath, you have to climb up. Bill will show you. Okay. Just grab. Okay, fuel pressure's good. Engine starts six and three. Six and three. One, two, three, four, airplane is very, very maneuverable. It's, uh, it was used as a fighter bomber in the Pacific during World War II, and it was a pilot's airplane. For you, you know the uh, the young gunners and the pilots, co-pilots and navigators, and you know they're all young fellas, of course, and uh, they didn't know the outcome. We know the outcome. Yeah. What an experience, you, you, Kevin, you couldn't an important help, part of history. You couldn't help but think, what was it like for some 18 and 19-year-old right. uh, who was up there? And a bomber, you know, bombers are sitting ducks up there. They don't mm -hmm. have proper fighter escort. And, that, and that's, you know, and that's what the, the enemy would be aiming for, would be the bomber uh, in, in, a, in a, a crew. So they're, they're, the loss rate was high, very high for, for bombers and people who were in bombers. Like I said, the tail gunner was the first one, sadly, yeah. uh, to go. A uh, lot of Canadians, a lot of Canadians served, uh, especially with the 98th uh, in, um, in uh, Britain, uh, with the RAF. Uh, Canadians were a big part of uh, that crew as well. So. And you see the images, but that really brings it home when you see the individual stories and we see you in there and you picture, like you said, these 18, 19 year olds going in there and sacrificing their lives. And just so you know, I just want to explain a couple of things about the video. First of all, I want to thank very much. Now, we didn't have their names and they were having some problems with uh, putting the names on the screens. Uh, but that was uh, Dave Rohr, who is the uh, CEO and president of the uh, uh, Hamilton uh, Military Heritage Museum, okay. uh, as well as Leon Mad Dog Evans, the chief pilot. 
Of course, he has a name like Mad Dog. So Top Gun. Uh, so I want to thank that and Dave Hills and, for, and that for uh, inviting You're me. You're explaining to me the board. propellers. They did the count. You, if, if, well, if you saw the propellers in the video, though, you, you saw that they looked like they weren't moving. Mm. It's because um, I shot this with my phone, and the frame rate on my phone uh, syncs up with the RPMs. Oh. So, it, it, I, so it, it's you know it, it's shooting like this. It's an illusion. At the exact same time that the propeller is in in that position. So it, it, yeah, we didn't lose engines up there at all. The Brantford Community Charity Air Show. Money, all the money raised goes towards the Rotary Club and the good work they do for children. Okay. Uh, tomorrow at the Brantford uh, Airport, just outside of town. Go on and see it, uh, and, and again, all the money goes towards a, a, yeah. a great cause. And you uh, were saying people spotted you yesterday, so yeah. we'll have to show some of those quite, later. Quite a few people uh, sent pictures from Brantford, so we're going to pick some of you, and we're going to send you off to the uh, cool. to uh, see the museum. The uh, CNE Air Show is all weekend, September second through what was it? Saturday, April? Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, yep. Monday, which is always uh, always fun. It's it's always, but it's always the end of summer. Of summer. Un unofficial. Unofficial end There's of summer. There's still some beautiful temps, as Frankie has been telling us.